What's up guys, it's Edge, and it's been a long time since I've made one of these. Um, if you guys haven't watched my Minecraft videos, um, it, it probably come up the day before this, um, the Mine Creek one. I explained a little bit about why I'm gone, um, so you can go check that out if you want, if you want to hear more details about it. But basically I got in trouble, so I lost uh, privileges to my computer for a month. But I am back, and man, that is so loud in my ears. Okay, there we go. So, you know what I was thinking while I was gone all this time? My Call of Duty skills are going to suck when I get back. But I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, this is my first game. Believe it or not, first game, I went 25 and like 15. I don't think you are actually going to see the score of that because I wasn't expecting to do good. So I didn't record. So this is um, recorded off theater mode. That's also why sometimes the hitboxes don't quite line up with where I'm shooting a little bit. Because lag and all that stuff has to be factored in. So yeah, take that into account when you're criticizing me and my gameplays. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good enough that I might as well show it. Um, even though I wasn't planning to record this uh, little bit here. I thought it was going to be terrible. But yeah, I'm actually, I actually did pretty good. So um, while I was gone, uh, apparently there was these like Call of Duty championships. Don't really know much about them other than my boy Fisticuffs. <laughs> Poked a lot of fun at them saying they were the 1%. Call of Duty players that get advantages from Call of Duty making money off of all of us 99%. And he also made a funny little video with pizza sauce on his face because <laughs> they've all got terrible acne, the poor guys. But um, but that's that said and done. Um, I didn't really care too much, so I didn't really worry about it that much. Um, so yeah. Um, this is probably going up past the weekend, but the weekend that I am recording this is a double XP weekend. This will probably actually come out on a Sunday, so the Sunday during it. So if you if you haven't yet, you should go play Call of Duty. Um, get your levels up, if that's your deal. Um, and Nuketown is open up opened up again, uh, so you can rack up those points pretty pretty well. Um, if you saw at the beginning of this game, we started out 3v3, I think it was. And I kind of want to talk about that and how I like that more than these bigger games, especially on this small Nuketown map. Right at the beginning here, you you won't be able to see it, but I went probably probably 10 and 5. I probably had like a 2 rate ratio, 2 kills, 1 death ratio. Um, and that's pretty strong. Um, that's pretty pretty good to get. And it always seems to be that way with me if I'm playing against a smaller team, um, if they're more spaced out, because I can beat anyone one-on-one, -on -one, and I can beat a lot of people one-on-one -on -one in rapid succession, like kill one guy, turn, kill the other guy, back and forth like that. But when you get a big group of three people against me, I choke, because I don't know which one to aim at. It's a problem that I usually have. I'll fix my sight on one guy, put two shots into him, but I won't finish him off, and I'll move to the next guy. And they'll come back. Really, what you should do is finish off the first guy, then the second guy, then the third guy, because that way there's less guns aimed at you. Um, you know, trying to kill you before you can kill them, so to speak. So, so that's a problem that I have, and that's why I think I do better with smaller teams. Um, I can probably beat any single person one on one that I've met in this game so far, aside from a few special people who I've met that are insanely good and I tell them that I say bro you are really good at this game you should go outside more um, but I mean yeah yeah so uh, how have you guys been it's been a while since I've talked to my COD community as small as it may be on my channel but uh, it's been it's been a month it was a long month I went to Mexico in the middle of that month if you haven't heard already um, went and built houses, not on vacation, but it was during spring break, so that was kind of a bummer that we had to, like, give that up, but at the same time, it's probably better than having to do homework later, trying to catch up to everyone. We had missed a full week of school to go down there, but it was pretty sick. Our group was around 200 kids and uh, probably another 50 or 60 adults, so we were about 250, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm going to go with 250 uh, people strong. And we were by far the biggest group, at least double the next biggest. And the funny thing is, the next biggest was a Canadian group. So Monkey, 
and Nexus and all those fellas out there. Uh, we met their their brethren <laughs> from Canada. But, uh, yeah, they were actually kind of jerks, man. I don't know what it was about Canada or maybe just this part of Canada. I don't even remember where, where they were from. They were from some northern territory or province or whatever they call it. But, but yeah, they were jerks. They told us to go to bed after curfew, and we were like, no, Americans, party, man. But, uh, didn't work out. So, thank you guys for watching. Fortunately, you can't see these scores specifically because it's from theater mode and, and it's weird like that but yeah it's a nice truck anyways thank you for watching slur 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 and i'll see you guys in the next one